Evening. It's a disturbing trend. Homeless men and women assaulted and robbed. Where is this happening and why? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson is live in down downtown Buffalo. Just one of many areas. Homeless advocates say their clients are being beaten and attacked and the little money they have stolen. The victims are some of Buffalo's most vulnerable. Yeah, I mean, our clients have nothing, absolutely nothing. Sleep on the streets, live on the streets. And within the last six weeks, Jason Flores says those he's fighting to help are being harmed. The fact of the matter is, is they have uh, friends and family as well. Um, they have advocates such as myself, you know, and that's what we're here for. It was in mid-August when Flores, who works in homeless outreach, began noticing a trend. As many as 15 of his clients from the Matt Urban Center had become targets, robbed of what little money they have, and then assaulted. Clients have suffered bruises, even broken bones. The victims range from teenage girls to older men. The assaults are concentrated to the downtown and Allentown areas. Our clients are extremely vulnerable. Um, to go and report this to the police, um, it kind of exposes them to retaliation. Flores says he does what he can to help, but is afraid the situation is worse than it appears. Often, victims are afraid to report the robberies or assaults, making it hard for police to pinpoint a perpetrator. They're not even aware um, of the proper channels to report abuse many times. Professor Kelly Patterson for the University at Buffalo says the fact that many of these victims don't have phones also makes them less likely to seek assistance. As um, for Flores, well, he just wants it to stop. You know, it, it, it's a part of the lifestyle, but it doesn't mean that it's right. And there is some progress in all of this. I just got done speaking with Doug Hartmeyer with the NFTA. He says transit police did arrest an individual they believe is connected to an assault of a homeless person near Swan and Pearl. Reporting live downtown, Sierra Johnson 7, Eyewitness News.